Ladies and gentlemen, hello and welcome to another episode of Kachiko Rants. Last time we cleaned up everything but Zeth, so Zeth is the only country left before complete unification. So now we can focus fully on them. We got Gandhi, the king of Zeth on our team. We got Mars, the guy nobody likes apparently. Um, so yeah, we're gonna tackle Zeth today. Uh, we'll see how we do. Um, now we do know they have the flash weapon, their ultimate weapon. It's kind of funny because we actually haven't attacked them since they made it. So I haven't really thought of it like that. We were just trying to clean up before we um, started the real battle with Zeth. But I guess it kind of worked out for us. So I don't know exactly know how that's going to affect it. But, you know, I've been warned by multiple people multiple times to, like, just kill Mars. So I'm just going to send Mars and hope it does something. <laughs> Can you tank a flash? I don't, I don't know how it works. I, we haven't seen it yet, so I assume we have to attack. I think Tyrone... I should check that, actually. I think you talked more about... I think you said... Oh, yeah. Utilize... Uh, what's it called? Thingies. This motherfucker. Oh! Oh. Three million? Wait, that's not even that bad. Wait. Yo, we have so much money. I don't know, just bring it. La Louise. What the fuck is that? Louise Quito. Okay, you might die, buddy. What? When I heard you were a teen, I was expecting a more din dignified old man, but you're nearly a kid, huh? Ugh. Well, it doesn't matter. Londa, as you pay me, I'll kill whoever you want. Ga ha ha ha. Hmm? Rance relentlessly punched Louise in the side of the face. The fuck are you doing? Louise wiped blood from the side of his mouth and stood up, stood straight up. I just punched you with my holy fist because you weren't acting how you should towards your employer. Be thankful. KK understood King Rance. You spit pretty high of yourself, so it's gonna be embarrassing if your skills not actually up to speed. Hey, don't worry about that. Leave it to me. I'll surpass your expectations. Hee <laughs> hee. With a vulgar laugh, Louise walked away from the throne. If he's not useful after all I paid and that big attitude of his, you're gonna taste my holy fist too, Plupit. I don't want that. Okay. We're, I guess we'll just test and see how this works. So where are we attacking? We're still kind of in that weird stalemate because I want a banger, but I can't. So I guess we attack. We need to take this first. This is a test run. We'll we'll load if it doesn't work out. Whatever, just attack. Uh, where is this man? I don't think I need the other one, right? We'll see if it like goes right away. Oh, I mean, all right. Look. Where's Louise? I kind of like him, but hopefully he's not gone forever. Louise. Where is he? Wait. Am I crazy? Eleanor. Or did he just come? That makes no sense though, right? Oh, there he is. <laughs> so far back. Mercenary that will work for anyone. His unit is entirely made up of mercenaries. After one fight, they'll leave Lee's us. Alright. Fight me. The Lee's army was heading to Adam's fortress on a hill a short distance away. Okay, so this is the flash thingy. Does it just kill everyone? <laughs> Not Louise, dude. <laughs> the Lisa Sermies here, I'll give them a fabulous present. I mean, I guess that would really suck if you didn't have Mars when you do this. I guess if you still had Kincaid, you can sacrifice him. Wait, did I even need to bring two people? Oh, well, Louise is expendable, I guess. Now do your best, Flash. Go at it. Ooh, ooh, dwa, ke, 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 ke. Papaya put the red ball out from inside her white robe and rubbed it in a mysterious sequence. La, sta, mia. Now you've done it, sis. Woo woo. Go. Ke, 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 ke. On Lizas. The red ball's glow increased as Papaya's chanted the spell. Now go. 
The red ball left Papaya's hands and floated. It flew straight towards the Lisa's army. Hey, what's that? One of the Lisa soldiers in the middle of advancing yelled. Then the red ball spun up and exploded. Yo, it's like a Mickey nuke. An intense light vaporized the surrounding area. Mars the Great's unit was annihilated. Louise's unit was annihilated. After the flash of light, all that was left was a crater. Nobody remained. Huh. Papaya was on the hill, her mouth agape. Wow. Wow, did you see that, Namitan? Yeah, saw it with my own two eyeballs. And now I can't see. Ke -ke -ke -ke. At least Anis was put to good use, I guess. Wow, wow, I'm such a genius. Your forbidden knowledge is amazing, Namitan. We got you. Have a nice day, ke -ke -ke -ke. Papaya and Namitan skipped with joy. Audience room. What? Rance nearly fell off the throne after hearing the report. Just one just one spell destroyed the whole army? Yes, it's hard to believe this happened so suddenly, but it's true. Mars's the great unit whole unit was destroyed, including the commander. Louise's unit as well. Ugh, this is ridiculous. Darling, I'm scared. Damn it, this is cheating. Death thinks they're so great because they're a magic nation. If they were to use that magic on Lisa's castle, we would undoubtedly be destroyed. What should we do, Kin? Mm, there's only one thing we one thing to do. I said I'll conquer the world and I will. But Oh yeah, she's a guy. You go develop some stronger magic, we'll get back at them. Don't make it sound so simple. There's no way that's possible. I can't believe they made magic that destroys an entire city. Whoever made it is insane. Well, how about you go insane then? If you can make it, then make it. I've got no more patience for you, moron. Um, Master Rant. Oh, so, do you have an idea? If you just made peace with Zeth, are you stupid? Conk. He. Keen Rant. Hmm? This stupid loud voice belongs to. Keen Rant, my apologies. No, it's far too late for me to apologize. Gandhi suddenly ran into the audience room. He kneeled before Rant and lowered his head to the ground. What for? No, I don't have time to listen to a middle-aged man. Go away. We're in an emergency. That's that's why I'm here. This emergency is because of the work of my disciples. Hmm? What did you say? I was too prideful. I thought my disciples could be trusted. I thought the justice in them would lead them to fight fair. To think they would use such cowardly magic. It was a mistake to take my eyes off them. Because I did. I put a heavy burden on the most respected keen rants. K Mr. Gandhi, who are you? Yeah, Gandhi, who are you? I had my reasons for hiding my identity thus far. I mean, it's only been a couple of turns, but I guess you could have had him much earlier. <laughs> and in doing this, I caused this. Nice to meet you, Keen Rant. My name is Raid Narokark Super Gandhi. I am the king of Zeth. Of course, so that's who you are. What? The king of Zeth? Huh? What? My apologies. If I were honest, I wouldn't have been able to work under you like this. Of course not. In what universe does a king work for another king? So, Gandhi, are you a spy? You were spying on my country, weren't you? This is terrible, dire darling. Let's execute this liar. No, please wait. King Rance, Queen Leah. It's true that I lied about my status, but what's in my heart is completely pure. I respect you to the depths of my soul. Since the day in poor, I saw you shed the tears of a hero. And poor? What's he talking about? I don't remember that. I hid my status and wandered, searching for the messiah we believed would, so would soon appear who would unite the world. I sought the messiah, the hero, and if possible I'd aid them, based on our country's saint Lucy's prophecy. Then I found you. I truly believe that you, Teen Rant, are the one that will save the world. Darling, is that true? That's amazing. Shut up. It's true that I'm pretty great, but don't listen to Dandy's nonsense. How harsh, King Rance. My eyes don't deceive me. You will certainly unite humanity and defeat the monsters. I have no issues with handing my nation of Zeth over to you. The world should be gathered under you. F but one humble request, King. Allow me to work for you and assist you. I'd like you to watch my future actions. I'm positive I'll dispel any suspicions that I'm a spy. But, uh... Or, if you can't trust me no matter what, then you may cut me down right here and now. What will you do, King Rance? Gandhi looked at Rance with an iron well. Mm, this guy. These eyes. 
I'm not killing Dondi. I know we've only met for a bit, but... Dude, he's a bro. We haven't even seen him fight yet. Your enthusiasm's oppressive. Alright, it's cool and impressive to have an enemy in this nation keen working for me. Haha, <laughs> I knew you'd approve Keen Rant. It's truly admirable. I promise that I'll work even harder than before. Ugh, shut up. So we're talking about what to do next. What do you plan on doing specifically? If you will allow it, I'll go to Zeth Palace. I need your permission. Go ahead, don't betray me. Oh, he's just going there now. Zeth Palace. In front of the magnificent Zeth Palace, Dondi, along with Witchy and Kairu, was standing. Mr. Dondi, are you really going to do this? Mm hmm. Of course, I don't think there's any chance I could change your mind. I would follow you anywhere, even if it man means being our homeland's enemy for a while. Don't make this harder than it is, you two. Now let's do this. As you wish. Gandhi took steps towards Zeth's palace. Ha. He took a deep breath. Listen up. King Dandi's voice reverberated through the palace. K King Dandi? Shizuku was drinking tea in the meeting room. She threw her cup aside and ran to the window. She saw Dandi and his cohorts far below her. Ah, King Dandi, you came back to Zeth, to me. Shizuko! Yes, King Dandi. Shizuku yelled, but Dandi couldn't hear. He was too far away for a normal person voice to reach. Papaya, Nadi, and Magic, are you listening, Four Lords? I am saddened. I overestimated you four. Huh? What was that magic you devastated the Lisa's army with? What cowardice? It was Chizuko's idea? <laughs> That's not what war is. What's the point of a war where you discard your honor with such atrocities? Listen, you four. From now on, I'm your enemy. I will destroy Zeth. With my respected hero, Keen Ranch, this country should disappear, that's all. Prepare yourself. Ah. Good work, Mr. Dondi. Now, let's go back to Lisa's, the place where we belong now. Mm, so long, Zeth. Dondi and his torrents left the palace. Inside the palace, all the soldiers were trembling. Whoa, was that seriously King Dondi? It was definitely him. Were, were we abandoned? Did our king abandon us? Uh oh, this ain't good. There's no way we're safe if the teens are enemy. Gah, what'll happen to us? King Gandhi? He's working with Lisa's? Why? Why? I guess this guy lived. Okay, good. He survived the nuke. <laughs> Unbelievable. That was completely out of nowhere. I see. So that's the decision the king made? Now what's going to happen to this country? What should I do? What should magic do? As for Chizuko in the management room, King, king Gandhi. She claps as soon as Dandy's speech has ended. Audience room. So, you declare war on Zeth? Yes. Dandy was kneeling before Rance. Now I'm now I'm the king of Zeth no more. This is a pretty roundabout way of going about this. Now we still have to attack Zeth. If you were the king, you could have just surrendered and given Zeth to me. Yes, it's true that I would have no objections about giving Zeth to you. But even if I did, eventually it would cause discord. The new world will be made from destruction. That's not even mentioning that crime of making and using the abominable magic. This should be destroyed, destroyed by a hero for a new world to be brought in upon it. So that's the idea. Indeed, Keen Rants, I leave Zeth to you. Thoroughly destroy them, then add them to your followers. I'll fight in the front line if you order it as well. Don't pretend to be sick and cut out. <laughs> of course. Ah, also, I disable the magic barrier covering Zeth Palace. Thus, cornerstones the four towers. If you defeat the four lords protecting them, Zeth should accept surrender. Now, King Rance, let's fight Zeth together to destroy them. Gandhi bowed deeply and left the audience room. He's a pretty weird king, too. Oh, does this mean he's aware that he's... Maris, were you just thinking something? N no. Well, I think that works. What the fuck? Dude, that was long. So Mars is dead, I guess. Already. <laughs> I know we just, we literally got him last turn at the end of the episode. And like someone commented, oh no, we met Mars. Yeah, he died like in a turn. 
I mean, to be fair, you guys have been like doom posting about him multiple times, so I just got rid of him before. Someone already o even told me that apparently he steals your girls as time goes on, so. Also, we lost Lewis. I don't know, like, is it worth going back just to, um, like, not bring Lewis? I just thought you might have to fight, and if you beat them, they, like, send the, the flash, but apparently not. Well, wait, is it... Oh, this... I think the city is fucked, but it's still under their control. Okay. Well... We did our attack, so now we have everything else to do. Who are we healing? Probably Patton? No, Patton's healthy. Isoroko's still kinda not. Mm, everyone's looking pretty good. I wonder if Lewis is just dead forever. Hopefully the other mercenary is just as cool. I guess I'll just heal Barris since we're kind of chilling. Who are we talking to? Uh, where are we? Did I do Isoroko recently? I think I did actually. Satella, Medlas, can Okay, let's just talk to Satella, I guess. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> Hmm, maybe I'll meet with Satella. Is this Castle Satella's room? Satella and Caesar were there. Caesar water. Yes, Miss Satella. Caesar filled the bucket with a drawing of a Mac Pio on it with water and placed it next to Satella. Satella was kneading clay. I'll make an even stronger guardian. Just you watch, Rance. Then, when my duty to protect little princess is done, I'll slaughter you. Gahaha, <laughs> making another wimpy clay doll. Rance barged in without knocking. No, it's time to be a strong guardian. By the way, I've got something else to talk to you talk about today. Thus far you've been too sensitive for me to really make you a woman, but today's the day. I'm thinking I'll gently take your virginity. What? Don't F around. I'm your enemy, your rival. Gahaha, stop making that scary face, I know your weakness. Rance grinned and reached a hand to Satella's ass. Cuh. <laughs> Satella jumped away. Ah, hey, don't run. Fine, if that's what you're gonna do. Satella so turned to face Rance again while she was in Caesar's arms. Oh, that's what you were thinking. But only if you beat me in a fight. If you win, you can do whatever you want to me. Miss Hornet ordered me not to fight you since you're protecting the little princess, but if you challenge me, then I have no choice. How about it? Miss Hornet's orders are absolute, but my goal is to kill you, Rance. A la mao. Fine, I'll fight you. Yes, let's do this, Caesar. Yes. Oh, we're actually fighting. Ow. Whatever. I mean, try and throw me if you can. Oops, sorry. What the fuck? She's strong. And she has the advantage. Gaha. Chaos or opponents a demon if you're not using new up costume. Okay, that's what we missed. So do we just have to beat her army or... Why is she- why is her troop so strong? Maybe it's like just- it never seemed that strong before because we're facing fellow demons, right? Well... Going down, Satella! Slowly. Ooh. I mean, we're slowly getting her, so might as well just keep going. Yeah. Impossible. How could I lose to a human again? So Tella was injured and couldn't move. Little XP. So Tella was on her hands and knees at Rance's feet, defeated. Gahaha, <laughs> looks like I won. You're so weak. Why? This is so annoying. So Tella fell <coughs> with her face to the floor and tears streamed from her eyes. Miss Satella. Hit. Ooh, now, Satella, keep your promise. Rance reached out his hands and touched Satella's ass. Ah. That alone made Satella's body react and she shuddered hard. There, there, there. Rance poked Satella all over. Uh, ooh. Satella groaned in pain, maybe because her injuries hurt. Well, whatever. I'll let you off easy today since we just fought. I'll, make, I'll call you to my room, then come. If I call you to your, my room, then come. Make sure you're all cleaned up. Ha 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 ha. Triumphantly, Rance laughed loudly and left the room. Miss Satella, are you okay? If you like, I could. 
Caesar, it's fine. I lost for the second time at that. To an ordinary human, I'm pathetic. Understood. I will be sure to. No, it's fine. Don't do anything to rant. Miss Satella. Caesar, I heard all over. Help treat me. Yes, Miss Satella. Is she in? Harem added? <laughs> okay, I wasn't expecting that, but more progress. What can we do? Can we do construction today? Maybe? Wait, a week? Did it say a week? I think there was a week already. Nice. New building gonna drop soon. So we have harem. We still have our dungeon and our city action to do. So we're working on these dungeons, right? We did this. Right? Yeah, we got something from there. I kind of forgot. We went to there by accident. For the picnic. Stonecutter dungeon. Oh, yeah, yeah. We were going to do that, but then I clipped that. True. Alright, I guess I'll just do stonecutter dungeon. Whatever. Oh yeah, I was gonna, I was gonna use the CG for the other episode. Did I do that, actually? I think I just got lazy and forgot. I've been slacking on CG tech. I'm just checking my channel. Oh, don't listen. Yep, I totally forgot. <laughs> Okay. Well, at least it has Hornet and Cableless. Uh, please select the unit. Alright. Our best dungeon crawler. You can go. Descend me. Oh! No! What the fuck? Why is there so much? Oh no, this is a disaster. <laughs> That's my bad. Well... Hopefully you can dodge more. There's so many units there. Maybe it's because we're so close to the monster realm. Yeah. This is a tougher dungeon, man. I don't know if it can even... I think it's kind of risky going forward. Maybe we can do one more. Okay. Lucky. Yeah, we're not beating this dungeon yet, but that's okay. I don't know why I pushed it. No. No, I fucked her run. God damn it. This is what happens when you get greedy, guys. Well, now we had to do everything. At least we can test stuff. So can we just send Mars and not lose our boy Louise? Go, go, go. Click, attack. Mars. You're back, Mars. No, okay, so I guess you need at least two people. Well, that's one way to kill Mars, too. Alright, it's okay. We didn't actually do too much. Kinda. Um, so we hire... Oh, loop it. Let's see what B is looking like. Oh! No contact. Why is she so much more expensive? Okay, Louise, you're dying. Yeah, the other girl. I guess she is a girl. Why did I. Wait, why did I pay 8,000? Doesn't really matter. <laughs> whoa, 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 whoa. No, no, no. Alright, sorry. I just want to go through this. Attack! So we go Louise. Mars the Great. Skip me. Newt. Let Gandhi live. Declare war. We're Gucci. Now we do the Satella thing. Challenge. We're gonna lose. Now we have to fight again, but. Whoa! What's happening? 
Oh, till I'm slipping. I asked. <laughs> oh, it's trippy. Hey! I think we have a lot more troops this time. It worked. Why aren't you ants attacking? Don't even need it. Easy. Alright, now we're back. Do we even want to do stone cutters? I mean, yeah, just don't be an idiot. I bet we'll do better this time. Okay, Patton. Slow and steady wins the race. Don't ascend. What the fuck? Okay. Not a lot. Good. Good Patton. Yeah, this is a harder dungeon. I don't know if I should be doing this yet, but... Might as well. So we can only do three fights max. Then, like, maybe you can gamble, like, one or two floors. If you're crazy. Oh my god, there's so many. And they're strong! Don't kill me! Oh man, we might do this. How? How? Patton, buddy. Oh, wait! Wait, no, he's only doing nine damage. Whoa! No! <laughs> I survived! I survived and I threw it away. My bad. I didn't know he can endurance them. We would have been fine. Is he dead? Yeah, he died. God damn it. We're, we're stun locked again. Classic. Ugh. I'm annoyed now. First death I wasn't annoyed. Now I'm annoyed. That's alright. It's easy, Aiden, just, just, it, it's just, up. it's just easy. That Louise, 4,000 contract, Let's get out of here, loop it, nuke me, Mars, Louise, attack, skip text, Boom shakla lakla. <laughs> uh, I didn't know you can actually, like, just, like, finish a monster battle by enduring it. That's crazy, man. Alright. Let's just do the dungeon thing first, just in case I mess up again, eh? Surely Patton will be fine this time. This is where we need more troops on him, man. But, like, do we really want to invest in Patton? Our dungeon crawler. I mean, that was a really good fight. But there's so many monsters. It's crazy. Why is there so many monsters? Yeah, I can't really risk anything in this dungeon, eh? We'll have to be super careful. Oh my god. Such a bad roll. Alright, we can't do any more than this. I'll go one more for luck, though. Because I'm sick. Good. Shh. Okay, retreat. <laughs> there we go. Not much progress. That's going to take a while, I feel. Alright, so tell her round three. Challenge. Okay. It worked. Beautiful. Okay, we finally made progress. Harem, how's Melfus doing? Ah. Uh, okay, so we still have time before Melfus. I guess I'll just do Sadella. Might as well. BRB. All right, just as we were about to put it in, and just to tell us super sensitive, screaming like crazy, Caesar stopped us. <laughs> what are you doing to Miss Satella? Yeah, the stone doll. Who said you can come in? You're hurting Miss Satella. I won't allow this. I wasn't hurting her. Jeez. Ah, oh, man, I've gotten soft. I don't feel like doing it. Stone doll, take Satella and leave. 
Mr. Tella was lying on the bed. She had passed out, possibly due to all the orgasms. Miss Tella. Caesar gently picked up Satella and where Lucy left Francis' room. <laughs> Man. Four its feet? Not bad. Wait, can we still attack? Actually, we, I think we can attack, eh? Right? Because we, we, we didn't... Yeah, we didn't conquer it or anything. Alright, fuck it. I wonder if their defense is pretty weak now. Alright, time for the battle unit. A.K.A. You... Cordoba. Gandhi. Is it? Like, nah. I'm just gonna send our actual battle unit. Go, go, go. Fuck you. Oh, wait. They, they have a lot. I don't know. Just attack Sayaz. Still kind of strong, eh? Sorry, just defend, buddy. Fire... Fire laser? Hello? Fuck you, bitch. Alright, slowly dying. Alright, ho hoddle. Ender, I know you're... It's a little scary for you, buddy. Stop fire lasering her! What the fuck? Nice. Can we just kill you? Yeah. Okay, good D, good D. This fortress is definitely ours. Wait, he died! Are you f This fucking guy. This fucking guy. Fuck you. Fuck you. I'm gonna lose my mind. <laughs> oh my god. I thought we escaped hell. No, it was just the beginning. This turn's never gonna end. How? Gendero. Why'd I bring him? I don't know, dude. I thought because he's such a, like, good strategy guy. But I guess it's just not worth it if you're on the offense or something. Now I'm just sad, man. God damn it. Don't worry, surely this will be the last time, guys. Surely. Skip papaya. Don't care. Observe. Who cares? Okay. You dungeon? Hey, at least our dungeon roll will surely be better this time. And not absolute trash. All right, no, yes. Use your stealth, use your stealth. Oh, eight's not bad. It is not bad at all, buddy. They're doing a lot though. It's okay. It's already better. See, it's total positives guys, think positives. This is gonna be a little rough. Two big boys. Uh, I don't. I mean, if we roll a 500, maybe. I'm going 15. I'm crazy. Okay, get out of here. I'll take it. I'll take it. Just give me that. Okay. All right, let's do this. Finish off Adam's fort. No Dendro. Let's just go classic. Uh, Bears isn't healed. The classic Cordoba Menad strat with Isoroko. Put a little Gandhi there so size can really feel the pain. Namu, namu, namu. Bitch. Super Royal Fire Laser. Normal Fire Laser. Ow, that hurt a lot, by the way. Alright, work on you. Yeah, just one more one more of those bad boys and he's dead. Maybe. Ouch. So this is kind of funny. I want to see this. This is not only about death, but all mankind. Forgive me. Okay. Kind of a wasted move, but I think we'll be fine. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Oh, good job. Oh, he lived. 
There you go. Not even dead. Bro, what are you doing, random ass mage? Go away. Roshi. Work on you. Two turns. We'll be fine, I think. You... Now they just suicide. Bye-bye. We finally took a fortress. Hell yeah. Zeth Adam's Fortress. Large parts of the study stone fortress were crumbling. The fire arrows launched at it burned the supplies inside. So I sat injured at the b inside the burning fortress injured. Guess this is the end for me. Huh, maybe I used too much luck on women. Sas laughed from a corner of his mouth and pulled a small box from under his cape. Uspira. He opened the lid. Inside a ring adorned with a light blue stone shone with the lights of the flames. Guess it ends without me. Giving this to you, I never even told you. Sas was engulfed by the flames. Well, luckily for you, Sas, we did see the end where you and Uspira die together. But you know that I think about it might just be a happy ending, but <laughs> it's been denied, sadly. Alright. No, wait, we still need to do the Satella thing, right? Alright, surely we won't die to Satella here and ruin this this good run so far. Good roll, good roll. Carry me. Pause me real fast. Pause done. Now we're back. Now we only have our sit. Nope. We still have heal. Heal my boy Barris, I guess. Now we have our city action. We don't really. Oh! Dude, I forgot about the, the lake place. We can do that too. But we're kind of busy with that dungeon. What are we going to do for our city action? We can try a cooking contest again. Might as well finish that. Let's go! I challenge you, Martina. Okay, as you wish, today's challenger is this person. Not going to go still again. We'll just... I think Maris is actually the answer, so I'm just going to try Maris. I don't think I can win, but allow me to do all I can. I won't go easy either. Now, ready, go! The cooking competition between Maris and Martina began. Pahoot! The whistle indicating the end of the match was blown. What's that, Maris? A chocolate parfait? What's special about this is it has mini cream puffs on it. Queen Nia loves it. And Martina? I made a cake using crepes. Mmm, that sounds good. Slurp. Uh, Alright, judges eat. Okay, okay. I like Maris's parfait. King, I'm sorry, Miss Martinez is more to my tastes. The manager's is good. Delicious. Yeah, Martinez cake is more delicious. That means three to one. Hey, at least it's better than Sills. <laughs> Sadly. I won. Good, good. Man, whatever, I'm hungry. Well, I'll make you some Wuhan then. Again? No. We're gentlemen. We'll beat you fair and square. At least Queen Leah liked it. <laughs> Okay, now we're done. Turn finally over, unless we, like, die. But it's okay. I'm excited for this. The four lords were disheartened after hearing King Dandi's speech where he abandoned the country. King Dandi, I did it for you. I was trying for you, and you hate me. Ah. Sob, I'm shot. It was such an amazing magic, but it was bad, Sob. Doesn't really care. Ah, uh, it's all over this country. Me, there's no point of living if King Dandi hates me. Ah, uh, I j just want to make another flash. Ke ke ke. Who cares about the geezer? Make another one. Ke ke ke. Ah, uh, you disrespectful f book. What did you call King Dandi? I'm no book. I'm the great Namitan. Ke 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 ke. Oh, now what should we do? Oh yeah, Papaya. Why don't you make one more flash and drop it on Zeth Palace? Ah, uh, that sounds good, Shizu. That sounds good. Nice idea, Shizuko. 
Make it before, make it more spectacular than before. Maybe King Gandhi will cry a bit watching it. Maybe he'll remember it sometimes. Uh Kind of feel bad, but not really, because she killed my girl, Annis, so. No sympathy for either. Ah. Uh, ah. Uh, enough of this, you two. Huh? Magic slammed the book, slammed the desk, and stood up. We're the four lords. Why should we be shaken up by him? That king just does whatever he wants. I don't know what about mending, mending the world, but he pushed the country on us and then suddenly came back to say whatever. Are you saying you're going to destroy Zeth after all this? Magic. Jujutsu unnaturally, unconsciously stiffened, an aura of rage rose from magic. I'm fighting. Huh? This is our country. How am I supposed to sit back and let it be destroyed? Now, stand, Shizuko. You're our leader. Explain to the citizens and lead us. But if I do that, King Gandhi would just hate me even more. Ah, who cares about him? He sob, sob. Ah, man, you two okay? I'm fine. Fight? Are we fighting? Does that mean I can research? Well, sure. No more flashes, though. Aw. Uh, how did this girl change this much? She really is King Gandhi's child, father and daughter. Uh, I'm sure Lisa's is offensive is only gonna get worse now. We have to prepare. All oh, these members are useless. Grr. The four of them, all with different feelings, started a new order for Zeth centered around magic. Lisa's, if you think you're going to, we're gonna stand the defense forever, you're making a big mistake. Magic looked at the map and Destin whispered. The magic commander besides her like a shadow herd. Then learn magic. Yes, you have permission to sortie. My unit will protect the tower so you can organize the best unit you can to take Lysus' territories. Yes, understood. The magic commander moved with the least agility possible and left the command room without making a sound. You tricked my dad, Lysus. Just watch. I'll get back at you for invading us. So these are just jobbers. Intercept. We'll go with the classic Leia Rick defense duo with a little Maria. Hubert? Wait, why Hubert? I don't know, you can come Gengo. Kind of weird, but whatever. You should, surely you'll live. Yeah, look at these guys. There's literally no one here. We can actually just go on the offense. <laughs> then go just, just here. You're just here for the boost, I guess. Bye bye. Retreated. The courtyard is filled. I oh, have to go now. He sighed and stood from, sat him from his chair. You're being so much better without war, though. Alice, are you leaving to fight? A hedge rustled. Oh, magic. Huh, I came. I wondered if m the magic commanders are mad. Of course they'd be mad about one of the four lords leaving her tower during a crisis. I think we saw this before. I'm just on a speed read. It's kind of not fitting because the mat. His, the majesty has betrayed the country. Probably should have saved a stronger force for these guys, but... Oh, I guess I can't use uh, Kaku yet. Alright, we'll go Bear Serene, Classic, Hanty... I don't really know. I mean, Mill's kind of lit, but none of them are really that strong. Or be that effective. I just go Shizuka. Namu Namu. Nice 1D. I wish I just do. Decent. Maybe I should just kill her actually. Ow! Don't bully Barris. Beg for your life. Oh, bears leveled up! Plus one attack. Nice. Camilla's... Oh! Scene. Oh, it's the same shit. Oh, 
I wonder if there's a way to like go on the offensive against Camilla. I don't know. <laughs> oh, okay. Finally, new turn. 45 minutes in. <laughs> don't worry, guys. It'll be a long episode. <laughs> Can Rance the Doors Military Academy was finished a few days ago. Alright. Good. Does it have students? Yes, the best female students from schools around Lises was selected. They've already begun classes. I see. Good, good. I should go check it out. Alright, we got a lot of things to do. One of the th top things I want to do is... Stress test this dungeon again, which means I need a heal pattern. Oh, a lot of people are injured, though. And we'll survive a turn. Surely. Alright. Well, not you. Alright, Patton. Good luck, buddy. We're going back in this fucking place. You'll, you'll do good. Well, that's a horrible start, Patton. But that's okay, man. You're trying your best. I was holding my breath. <laughs> Alright. I think we'll go one more. Because I'm fucking insane. We're so close. I feel it. It's probably like 30. Oh, we got lucky. Do I dare go one more? What if there's a boss at the end? I'm retreating. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. Surely. Alright. Well, we can build a new place, I guess. Whoa! SMN Tower. So we can do that. Oh, well. I guess we're building the SMM Tower. Okay, whatever. Probably fine. <laughs> Well, if we lose, we can see what we missed. I think it's like, isn't it like the weapons shit too? Like, kind of important? <sighs> Whatever. <laughs> Alright, that's done. So we have a choice. We can... I mean, there's no real point of going through this area now, to be honest. We could just attack their, like, capital. <laughs> I guess, like, the point is defeating the generals, so we don't have to keep fighting them. You know girls here. Hmm. I mean, we'd have to go through Nagi, which is a little scary. No, is it scarier than the other people? Hmm. Anyway, let's talk to Medlass. What's up, buddy? Sat sat, what should I eat today? Rance was humming as he took a walk in the courtyard. Hmm? Rance spotted mid last perching in a tree and talking to a bird. What's he doing? Rance stealthily approached the tree. When he did, he could hear mid last's sudden voice and the birds chirping. Are they chatting? Rance focused his ears on the, their conversation. Chirp, chirp, chirp. The bird chirped. D at e d e ad f f. Mid last answered. Chirp, chirp, chirp. D at e d e a d f f. Huh? Hey, Midlast, what are you talking with that bird about? Chirp! The bird was surprised by Rance's voice and flew away. Midlast flew out of the tree at the same time. What's his deal? Was he hitting on that bird or something? <laughs> okay. Um. Where are we do? What are we doing? What are we doing? We're attacking. I want that girl. We worked so hard. We stalled so hard. Just to get a chance with her. And kind of ruining her good ending. I guess we'll just do it. Alright, Konami. Sabotage a little. Oh! Tape. Beep beep. Uh oh. Konami triggered an alarm and turned to flee. I have to get out of here. Huh. Shh. Konami slashed by the shadow that swooped down upon her. 
She just barely dodged and simultaneously drew her ninja Tatana and prepared for the enemy's second slash. Claimed. The sound of Tanami's deflecting the enemy's blade resonated. Kuh <laughs> screwed up. They exchanged a number of sharp sounds, however. <gasps> One sharp attack from the enemy destroyed Tanami's blade. Ah. The enemy's hand grabbed Tanami's throat. Ah oh, no, I'm gonna be killed. Tanami resigned herself to her fate and closed her eyes. Huh? The enemy made a wild gasp and the hand stopped. Hmm? A girl? Cold passing, Taid. The gentle voice said with surprise. Could that person been? Could that have been this person's voice? The man had a clear sounding voice. It was so gentle. It was unbelievably. It belonged to the same person who fought with those sharp movements. Ah. The man looked between his hands, grasping Kanami's neck and Kanami herself, and let go. Huh? I'm sorry. Are you hurt? Ah, well. What's with this person? Is he trying to get. Me to let my guard down so he can capture me easily? Kanami kept her guard up and paid close attention to all the man's actions. Um, what? Run away, please. Huh? I don't want to kill you. Now. Ah, wait. Without giving Kanami a chance to ask why he was doing this, the man disappeared. What's with him? Ah, uh, but I have to run. Someone else might come. Kanami pushed the strange man off her... Off into a corner of her mind, slipped into the darkness of the night and ran away. Can I be returned? What is it? You done do me a report? The sabotage failed. But the next time, I'll do it for sure. Sure you will. Failure, how frustrating. The attempt to lower the enemy's defense power failed. Oh well, you tried your best. Hmm, who are we sending? Battle unit? Alright, battle unit. Isoroko. Maria. What? Strategy? Thank god they have like... No troops. <laughs> Probably because we've been fighting this war for a while. We've been winning the battle of attrition, eh? Go Rick. Bye bye, Uspira. Oh, she lived. Can't live. It's cheating. Bye bye. We're good. What? Oh wait, we got it. Okay. Still have to capture the place though. Uh, work on this one. Wow, her arrows are not working well. It's okay. We can ignore that. Well, there's only one left. Why is this guy's defense so much higher? I guess because our strategy screwed up, eh? It's okay. We finish him. Alright. Mission complete. Uspira get. Zeth is falling. Zeth tape defense HQ. Tape's defense line was completely crushed by the Lisa's army and the HQ was already aflame. General Uspira, this place won't hold. Let's retreat soon. I'm fine, you know. But, slam. He. The heavy old door was kicked open and Rance appeared before them. Is that hot general here? You, King of Lesus, flame arrow. The flame, the magic general fire assaulted Rance. Ow, the fuck are you doing, Udley? Oof. The magic commander fell to Rance's blade. Hoo hoo hoo, finally cornered you, lady. Your spirit didn't move an inch while Rance approached her. Are you Rant, the King of Lesus? Yes, I am. I assume cruel rumors about me have reached even Zeth. I've heard about you. You assault every woman you see. Ha ha ha, that's right. So don't bother resisting. The sword's faster than magic at this range. I won't resist. Do as you wish. I see. Glad you resigned yourself. I'll take advantage of your offer then. Let's finally tore Uspira's clothes and push her to the floor. We already saw the alternative ending where... Sias comes and tries to rescue you, but loses, and then they both die together happily. It's floating. But now it's the bad ending. But good for Rance, I guess. <laughs> Alright, BRB. Okay, good scene. Worth, worth all the effort, kinda. <laughs> ha. After taking his sweaty body off her, Rance took a carefree breath. Mm, that was good. She's cool and beautiful. A good woman. Her body's hot, too. 
How about joining my army, Uspira? I can give you better treatment than you got in Zeth's magic army. I'll pass. See you. Wait, don't go. If you go, you'll kill me. I don't care. Go ahead. No, let me F you again. I think we should do it before the fire closes in. You're an astonishing man. Words of praise. Ga ha ha ha. After Rents made love with her a second time, Uspira went off somewhere. Nobody knows what became of her after that. Oh. Well, I mean, that wasn't that bad of an ending. I thought she was just gonna die, so... Worth... Alright. We got... I guess we survived unless we lose the attacks. Next time... Cooking contest? <laughs> I kind of wanted to, like, check some of the shit here. Like, we still need to go to the hospital for the nurse, the dungeon. I just, like, recently remembered we have the fucking... One of the generals there. Special room. I don't know if we collected enough. Demon Lord's room. But I'm kind of invested in the cooking contest, so we'll leave that for a bit. <laughs> I'm gonna beat you this time, surely. Martina. Harreen? Dude, there's no shot Harreen's winning, but... Please. Why me? <laughs> She's even blushing. Shut up, you can cook, can't you? I have no idea what to do. Now begin, go! Grrr. Thus the cooking competition between Harin and Martina began. Poot? The match ending whistle was blown. What did you make, Harin? Curry. Looks like that watery curry they also made- They made at camps. Oh, so why so much? There's enough here for 50 people. What was I supposed to do? The only cooking I've ever done is at camps for lots of people. A and Martina? I made a stew with lots of vegetables, mushrooms too. Ugh. All you have to do is look to tell hers is better. I told you. Shut up, shut up. Go on and eat, judges. Blah. Harine's curry is spicy. Martina's stew is calming. It's good. This is Lieutenant General Harine's curry. It's a taste I'm always grateful for. Curry's not worth considering. The manager's stew is great. Yep. Martina's stew is my favorite food. Today's is particularly delicious. Mmm, three to one. Hey! Still a better record than Sil. Did Sil get a vote? I don't think she did. Still a better record than Sil, I guess. That's. That makes me sad, kinda. I won. Whatever. Thanks for the Zushi. Eat and leave. Honorable. Alright! Turn done! A much clean. Oh, wait, no, we have Harem. True. Who we. Banging today. <laughs> kind of got lost. We did Satella. Oh, yeah, I still need to do Witchia. Witchia. We have all this bottom stuff to do. Katyusha, Shirelia, Owie, Rena, Fake Rena. Oh, don't look at her. Don't look at her. Shizuku. I'm keeping my promise to uh, Leah. Oh, not Leo. Layla. Okay, let's do... Richie, I guess. So, BRB. Bro, it's crazy. It feels like Rance, like, kind of met his match. Both with Kairu and Witch Richie, yeah. <laughs> they legitimately just like, uh, Dondi more than him. Even after making love. Kind of based. Alright, we're done, though, right? We did everything. We talked... We did our action, we did the dungeon. Alright, good turn. To end. Oh, they didn't even attack. It's just Camila. I don't really wanna intercept cause oh not intercept scout. Well, Camila. This might not be fun for you. I'm sending the full squad, baby. Kentro, you can come too. I swear you should die. Elamal. Get her. Hey, so tell us sniped her first. Thanks for the 12 XP. Alright, final turn. Whoa! Kentro late at night. 
Where are they? Not Tenshiro, <laughs> Tanami. Tanami was running around the castle looking. She was looking for an intruder. Ah, a black shadow passed swiftly in front of her. That was fast, but if they manage to escape the castle, my reputation will be at stake. I'll capture them. Tanami jumped after the black shadow. Suddenly it stopped and faced her. They're coming. Tanami prepared an injured Tatana and faced the enemy. Swoosh. Claimed. Tanami paired the enemy's first attack and took her stance. This longsword, where have I seen it? Ah, huh? It was the clear voice of a man she's heard before. It's you. Are you the Zeth Ninja? Yes, I am. The man hung his head for some reason and replied to Tanami. It couldn't be seen clearly due to the darkness, but the man's cheek were a touch pink. This is your castle, I suppose. Yes, it is, but I can't let you get away. Tanami held her katana with a backhand grip and faced the man. Ah. The man dodged to the side to avoid Tanami's attack. K. Tanami dodged and entered her next attack stance. Ooh, kya. Before she had a chance to change stances, the man got behind Tanami and embraced her. Tanami's small brain was completely covered by the man's chest. Um, what are you doing? Why? Why is, um, a person like you a ninja? What's that mean? Is it weird I'm a ninja? Are you saying that it's weird a weird person like me is a ninja? Th that's not it, uh. Um, what? Tell me right now. Um, ah, you... You're cute, so I wondered why you pursued such a violent profession. Huh? W wait, wait a sec. The man hugged Konami as hard as he could. Ow. A pain gas leaped from Konami's mouth. Ah, uh, I'm sorry, I... Tanami's voice brought the man back to his senses and he relaxed his embrace. <gasps> as soon as he did, Tanami kicked his shin as hard as he could. She could and escaped his chest. They remained silent and faced each other. The man's eyes contained some strange intentions and Tanami was shivering, but didn't show it and faced him as an enemy. I... Tanami readied her katana. I... Love you! Bro, you went last turn! Huh? The man vanished. Ah, hey. Tanami stood there dumbfounded. What? What did he just say? But we're enemies. Yo, what is this Tanami story? Dude, that's crazy. But more importantly, first things first, get ready, Patton. This is your time. We are beating this dungeon this video. Can't be that many floors left, right? They're usually like around 30, so. Start. Descend. Found a treasure chest! Evo Statue of Strength was found in the chest. Oh, we were just two floors off. Well, there you go. At least he's healed for next turn. Where is it? Evo Statue. Troop attack plus two? Best not to use too much. What? Well, it's plus two though. Surely it can't be bad. Who wants the plus two? Isoroko. I mean, someone else has to take the writings. Gandhi? Here you go, Gandhi. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> there we go, perfect. Then that's why it was so hard. Okay, so that's done. Finally, uh, maybe we should get our attack out of the way. Do I need a heal? I mean, our attacking squad is usually Layla, Rick. They kind of hurt. We could go Rant. Rant. Uh, Huber? It's probably fine. Is Issa Roko? She's healthy. Maria's healthy. Are we just like, going? Around town, killing the lords. <laughs> oh, that doesn't uh, guy live here? Well, let's see if uh, lover boy shows up again. Sabotage. Oh no, dude! I just want to continue this, huh? On the roof of the clear view of the setting sun, Konami sighed. Her duty was done, but she didn't feel like going back. There's no point in me waiting around here. Tanami was about to get up when something happened. Um, it's you. Tanami jumped about a meter back into her katana. Uh, wait, please, um, today I... 
The man fidgeted and blushed. H here. What the man presented with was a small flower that grew in the plains. Huh? Uh, I thought it suited you, so, uh... The man turned red, gazed at Konami, and gently reached out a hand holding the flower. For enemies, you know? Th that's true. But, um, what? Um, would you ever quit being a ninja? Huh? Uh, since you know what happens when a ninja is caught, don't you? I'm prepared for that. If I weren't, I couldn't be a ninja. I don't like that. Huh? I don't want something like that to happen to you. It's got nothing to do with you. But I... I love you, so I don't want that to happen to the girl I love. You know we're enemies, right? Yeah, I know, but if I don't like it, I don't like it. Um, what? Please marry me? What? I really love you, but we've only met a few times. But I love you, really. I keep thinking how happy I'd be if I was always had someone like you by my side. But do you hate me? Yes, you're the enemy. Even if our enemies were both human. I know. So does it distress you just to look at me? Do you not think we could come together? I don't know. I was thinking when my next duty is finished, I'll quit being a ninja. Huh? I was planning on using the money I get to get married and have a normal life. I don't want to be impudent, but if you were at my side, um, I think it would be nice. My last duty is to assassinate your lord, the king of Lizas. Well, it's not happening. Huh? If you just closed your eyes to me, I think I could do it. But I... Ninjas are disposable like paper blades. Death is natural. It's a harsh duty. If I was asked if I was really happy, I would say no. What about you? I... I I execute my duty a week from now at 1 a.m. What you choose to do is up to you, but... I, I... The man ma made a face like he was thinking hard and turned his back on Konami. Ah, wait. Huh? I still don't even know your name. Ah, <laughs> that's true. That's a bad habit of ninjas. My name is Code. Yes, Code. I'm Konami Kento. Konami, that's a beautiful name. Huh? See you, Konami. Ah, the man gave a fleeting smile and disappeared from Konami's sight. What's this? The flower Code was holding was adorning Konami's hair. He must have put it there at some point. Code. Konami's heart swayed. Maybe due to her line of work. This was the first time she's heard words of love from a man. It wasn't that she had no interest in love. She never made opportunity for it, for it herself due to being a ninja. Konami was awkward. She could only focus on one thing. The door to the world she only imagined in her dreams opened before her eyes. Code. Konami softly touched the flower in her hair. Wouldn't it be crazy if this was just the long con? Just so we can get easy access to the team. <laughs> to rants, I mean. Konami returned. How'd it go? Um, just tell me what happened. Say what happened, just tell me whether you succeeded or failed. I succeeded. Their defensive power should have decreased. Good work, then as a reward... You'll get plenty of my hyper weapon in your. No thanks. Alright, attack me, I guess. The Bid Boy Squad. Hubert. Maybe Hubert's a bad call, but we'll try it. Isoroko with her new upgrade, and Maria with the Hawaiian sword. Wait, oh, this is Alex's place. Lol. Okay. Let's go then. You kill you. Just because you might be annoying. Light bomb. What the fuck? That did so much. Do we need to go on the offensive, Hubert? Get her back. Ooh. Hate this. Okay, let's weaken him more. Light bomb. Imagine it's not gonna be happy, but it has to be done. Kinda. Die! Magic. Two turns, we got this. Just one die left. Dude, Zeth is crumbling this episode. <laughs> 
All we needed was the power of the Gandhi on our side. You know, we're just... One way trip to hell. 17 XP. Bye-bye, Alex. Zeth, old Zeth sewer. The sound of running water echoed in the dark underground tunnel. Alex was injured and running. It's kind of sad these guys are all dying. Are we done to really no recruits <laughs> from these guys? I mean, I thought maybe the blue-haired lady, but everyone's just dying, bro. <sighs> I can't die here, Magic. You and I are... Here he is. You won't get away. The sound of the attacker's footstep echoed over and over. Or maybe there was just that many approaching. <laughs> White destruction beam. Hey, that's Shizuka's move. Alice covered his severe wounds while he fired magic behind him. Gwah! Wah! The ceiling caved in, the stream of leaves, the soldiers could be heard from the other side of the massive dust cloud. Magic, magic, oh, definitely. Blood flowed from Alice, Alice's twisted leg, but he intently continued to run. Oh, he lived! Good for him, I guess. Mark. Alright, battling done. You still have everything else to do, though. Right? Yeah. SMM towers in progress. Um, subordinate. We have a talking action. That's right. Who did we talk to? Oh yeah, Midlass. Kentro, Mickey, Dandy. Still Kentro. What's a brother? Maybe I'll meet with Kentro. Kentro appeared with Nico. Hey Kentro, you doing okay? Yes, thank you. By the way, I wanted to ask you something. Want to swap your Nico for with my chaos? Hey, what are you you gonna throw me away? I thought we were kindred spirits. Shut up, I'd rather have a sword that can turn into a girl. Oh dear, what should I do? Kentaro was at a loss watching the argument between Rance and Chaos. You two are troubling Mr. Kentaro. Hey Nico, been wanting to see you. Damn it, if you won't let me fuck you then leave. Chaos. Chaos winced at Nico, whose eyes had narrowed slightly. But um, shut up stupid sword. What is it Nico, did you come to agree with me? Everyone should be where they're at their best, King Rance. I am at my greatest when wielded by Mr. Kentaro, and I believe Chaos is at his strongest being wielded by you as well. Gah, that ain't true. Being wielded by a luscious, sexy girl would make this dick of my soul really happy. Shut up, I'm putting up with a lot to use you. But uh, don't laugh. Ah, uh, sorry. Is that all you needed, King Rance? Yeah. Then allow us to take our leave. Come, Mr. Kentaro. Ah, oh, yeah. Excuse me, your majesty. Nico returned to her sword form and walked away from the throne. That was cute. Alright. We're still cooking contesting, right? Next episode. Surely. Surely Maria can clutch this. C cooking? I'm not confident about my cooking. Shut up. You never know when a miracle might happen. What kind of reason is that? I don't ha think I have a chance of winning in the first place. Now start. Go. Grr. The match between Maria and Martina began. Pahoots. The whistle ending the match was blown. Alright, what did he make, Maria? T Tulip special. What's that? I don't know, but... Whatever. And you, Martina? Pink union with a crub club salad. With crab salad. Or... Oh. Pink union with a club sandwich with crab salad. Pink union, my favorite. Ah, no, I can't be thinking that. Now, judges, judge. What's this? There's nails in it. Maria? Well, nails are iron, so I thought they'd provide the iron the body needs. Martinez is delicious. Ah, nom, I'm happy. Martinez cooking is delicious. Ooh, I wish my dead mother could eat this. Ah, good, good. Martinez club sandwich is good. Good. Good, more, more. I've never had such delicious pink union with such a beautiful color. Martina, you're the pride of this city. Four to zero. Hey, so it's at least not the ultimate loser. Um, rant? Yeah, yeah I won. Andre Puyum Puyun? 
eat. We're honorable. All right. What we got left? We did our action. We did dungeon. We did conquer. So we just have harem left. Who we at? Oh yeah, we did witch yeah, So we're at fate rena. <laughs> okay, time for fate rena. I guess brb. Thank you, Fate Rena, for the 5 XP. Alright, turn done! All we need to do is survive. Hello, Zeth. Doing something this time? Ah. Uh, Lochizuku, Lochizuku. Huh? Oh, yes, huh? Please get a hold of yourself. We want permission to sorte. Ah, uh, sorte. Okay, go ahead. Do what you think is best. If you see King Dandi, uh, if you see him, please deliver my message to him. Ooh. Uh, understood. We'll depart then. Shizuku Saburna left the command room with a troubled look on her face. Oh, King Dandi. I will intercept you. Who do I want? I want to keep Hanty and... Shizuku around. So we just send, like... I'll just do Kurdoba Minad Classic. With a little... With a little freaky freak. And a little Melfus. Yeah, freak's trash here, though. <laughs> it's okay. This is just the trash battle. We're just here for XP and do some damage. Namu, namu. Zero D to free. I guess he does have good magic D. Okay, okay, okay. Good. Free leveled up. A little defense in dungeon. Ew. Melfis leveled up. Attack on offense. That's what I'm talking about. Oop. How? Regard punch Nadi on the cheat. Blood ooze from the corner of her mouth. You fools, you have too many openings. Maso's daughter is strong. Focus more. Improve your power. Yes, my apologies. <laughs> Do it again from the start, Nadi. Not knock. They're Nadi, Mr. Regaro. There's orders from Lord Chizuko. Lead the unit to fight Lizas at once, she says. Quiet. Yes, but I said quiet. Regaro raised his left arm. His magic filled gauntlet flew and pinned the messenger's messenger mages close to the wall. Ah, uh, Mr. Regaro. That's time I'll kill you. Don't say another word. I won't allow Nadi's training to be interrupted. He. Now, don't get distracted. Nadi, start from the beginning. Yes, master. Continue their training. Okay. Nice. Camila! Oh! Update on the world of monsters. No. No detours, Cabnian. Meow, meow, but Cab... Cabby one. <laughs> Another one of Cableless's uh, apostles, I assume. There's a nice looking Chatsumi over there I want to take. Two monsters were walking down the seldom used Tell Road. They were Cal Cableless's apostles, Cabuan and Cabnian. But if we don't do Mr. Cableless's errand, he's gonna beat us. It's gonna really hurt. Ooh, it's not worth dying for a Chatsumi. Oh well, meow. Uh, Cabnian, wait. They practically headed to Camilla's mountain hideout. Meow. The great Mr. Cableless's apostles are here. Come out and greet us right now. We have something from Mr. Cableless. Coming. Oh, you two again. Hm. We're much more hardworking than any demons. We'll come every time Mr. List tells us to. What? Are you insulting Miss Camilla? You're a million years too early to do that. Pwah. Old head, I'm a young kitty, so I can last another million years, no problem. Okay, here's your delivery. Cabian <laughs> kept going at her own pace. Miss Camilla wouldn't read this, whether I take it or not. Keep it and get out. No, if we do that, Mr. Liss will beat us half to death. I'll be skinned and used to make a shamisen. I would be used to used for the castle carpet. I don't like pain. Jeez, fine then. Raincock accepted Cableless's letter. Will you be sure to read it? If you don't, we'll be beaten, meow. Shut up, we'll do what we want. Um, Raincock, how about a reward? 
Um, I think the nice dodgy bone would be nice. I would accept cat food. Slam. The door was ruthlessly slammed on them with no reward. Ah, Meow, you're a cheapskate, hate. Oh well, let's go home. We can buy some snacks to eat on the way back. Ooh, I guess. I'll buy some dodgy bones and cat food with her own money. Um, where's the pouch that Mr. List gave me? Meow, I forgot it. Ah, sob. The two apostles trudge back home. I'm glad we got meme characters again, man. Rip Anis still. <laughs> Read four. Whoa, not this plot line, man. Can't have to wait next week to see it resolve, I think. Rance's bedroom. It was late at night. Konami was waiting on standby on the ceiling of Rance's room. Rance and Maris were, <laughs> Rance and Maris were having intercourse below her until a few minutes ago. Rance is currently sprawled out on the bed and sleeping by himself. Every single night. Jeez, what a guy he is. Is it even worth protecting a man like him? He's had intercourse with countless girls, but some of them enjoy it. Some of them enjoy it, but I see some he forces into it too. Should I stop code? Or do I love code or hate him? It's obvious at this point, but that's not related to... Don. Ah, the clock struck one. No, no, I shouldn't. I'm a ninja before a woman. Protecting my lord comes before my life or my dreams. Are you there, Code? Yeah. Code left so little sign he was there that only Konami could tell. Konami. Konami didn't even twitch. Code left her where she was and descended into Rance's room. Guga, gawaha. Code drew his dagger without a sound. Huh. Huh? Clash. Konami descended on Code. When he moved to Interceptor, she took the dagger out of his hand. Oh, what? Quiet down. Konami? What? Who's this guy? Rance said as he looked at Code, who was staring blankly at Konami. What? In the middle of driving away an annoying insect? Kuh. Code drew another dagger on his back and charged at Rance. Gahaha, <laughs> you think a guy like you can kill me? Rance took a sword from under his fellow druid and instantly slashed the hand that Code was holding the dagger in. Little prepared, eh? Ah. Code put pressure on the blood spraying hand and fell to the floor. Oof. Rance was no longer able to move. Code was no longer able to move. Rance pointed his sword at Code's throat. Hey, what country are you from? Code ignored Rance and looked at Konami. So this is your answer. The life you chose. Yeah. Hmm? Konami, you know him? No. I'm a fool that tried to use her but failed. So Konami, your heart doesn't need to ache. I... A tearful smile. That was the last expression Code made in his life. Ah. Code thrust his own throat into the sword Rance had pointed at him. At a, f at a fountain of blood splurted from his throat and he died. Code. Ch is he dead? Konami, who was he? Just an enemy. A ninja from Zeth. He was my enemy. I see. Soon enough, soldiers came to dispose of Code's corpse and casually carried it away. Konami was on the roof of the castle watching the sun try to rise. The evening sun is completely different. She saw the flower Code labor in the sun. Konami sat grasping her knees and buried her face in them. Oh man, dude, that storyline happened so quickly. <laughs> so it's kind of awkward, but... You know, actually, I think, I think he did like her. I did kind of comment that maybe he was uh, using her, but I think that's just a last-ditch effort to hide his lies, so... RIP CODE. In honor of you, I will put you in the title, if I remember. <laughs> but thank you guys for watching this episode of Rants. Hopefully you enjoyed. Stuff start, but we came back pretty nicely. The invasion of Zeth is going good, and I'm not saying we'll capture it next episode, but... It'll be on its tippy toes. So thank you for watching again and see you guys next week for some more Kachito rants. Bye for now.